hello students welcome to my youtube channel and after a long time i'm uploading a video and the topic for today's video will be cylindrical equal area projection and according to the isc syllabus in class 11 we have to do three different uh, projections uh, cylindrical conical and genital okay now in this video i'll be discussing as you know the cylindrical equal area projection and here we have to do few calculations and that we have to put into the graphical representation so without any further delay let us start with the video according to the question the scale which has been given to us is 1 is to uh, 20 million okay and the graticule interval is 30 degree so few steps we need to uh, do before we do the or like cylindrical equal area draw the cylindrical equal area projection so the first step is finding the radius of the globe and we all are aware that the actual radius of the globe is 64 million which is constant which will <clears throat> never change and here we have to divide that 64 million by the 20 million or the scale which has been given to us so dividing it you are getting 3.2 centimeter so 3.2 centimeter will be the radius for the globe now step number two what we need to do is distance of the equator okay uh, later in the diagram you will come to know okay so for that we need to apply a formula that is 2 pi r and as you know the pi value will be 22 by 7 and the radius what we have found is uh, 3.2 centimeter and uh, I'm, I'm a little sorry for the video that it's a little shaky okay after the calculation you get an answer 20.1 centimeter now step three now in step three okay what we need to do is we have to find the uh, number of meridians that we have to draw okay and the number of meridians is actually 360 meridians we have to draw in the globe we all know and the interval which has been given to us is 30 degree so when you divide 360 by 30 it will come 12 so 12 meridians you have to draw okay now step number four so in uh, the step four we need to find the distance between the meridians we have calculated the number of meridians uh, but we don't know the meridians at what distance we have to draw the meridians we cannot randomly draw the uh, meridians okay now the formula for that is the distance of the equator okay into meridian value which has been given to us divided by 360 so the distance of the equator is 20.1 and uh, meridian value which is given to us is 30 degree that is the graticule interval now what is graticule interval is actually the distance between the latitude and longitude also you can say okay the graticule is actually the uh, the box which says you know which forms after the intersections of latitude and longitude as in the diagram as uh, i have shown a graticule interval means the value between the the difference between the latitudes and longitude okay so if it is 30 degree means latitude if it is uh, 30 degree then the next will be 60 degree next will be 90 degree and sometimes in some of the questions it will be given individually also like latitude 15 degree and longitude 30 degree you have to calculate it accordingly so after doing the calculation the answer which you will get is 1.47 centimeter okay so now our calculations are over so we will move into the uh, graphical representation of the answers that we have found so we have to take a distance of 3.2 centimeter because that is the step one radius of the globe so drawing a circle taking the radius of 3.2 centimeter after that draw the polar diameter and also taking the center the equatorial diameter also now what we have to do is we have to draw the distance of the equator and we have already drawn the uh, the equatorial uh, you can see the diameter of the circle isn't it so we have to extend it further up to the length of 20.1 centimeter okay and students is uh, please uh, make it sure uh, 
uh, when you are drawing uh, this any graphical representation of projections and all make it sure that your pencils are sharp okay now one thing <clears throat> to draw this diagram we need to have a set square pair of set squares also but uh, i don't have that with me right now so um, if you purchase that that will be more easy to draw the things parallelly to each other okay so you can see i have drawn one line touching the circumference of the straight line vertical line touching the circumference of the circle also so that will be our uh, meridian okay now the thing is that number of the meridians we have to draw so before that we need to draw the latitude also according to the graticule interval which has been given and the graticule interval is 30 degree so i'm taking over as you can see 30 degree and uh, 60 degree i have taken uh, below the equator also okay below the equator also i'll take uh, 30 degrees south and uh, 60 degrees south and 90 degree now after pointing it just take the center of the circle and uh, the point which you have marked as the degrees okay and make it sure again you are drawing the uh, straight line and just extend it up to the inner circumference of the circle okay no need to cross the circle take that point as a reference and take the center and just draw the line up to the circumference so this will be 60 this will be 30 okay and uh, this will be 90 degree north and this is 30 degree south 60 degree south and again 90 degree south now the next step what we have to do is we have to extend all the latitudes which we have drawn as you can see i have extended the 30 degree till up to 20.1 centimeter which you have done and yes uh, one thing like when you are extending from the vertical line you can draw the straight line but before that you have to draw is the broken lines okay while extending the latitudes and also make it sure since you are drawing the latitudes it should be parallel to each other okay that is why latitude is also known as parallels so similarly we have to extend the latitudes in the uh, northern hemisphere or the northern part of the globe also so our parallels are ready now the time for meridians so number of meridians is 12 before we do that we have to divide the 20.1 centimeter in the center okay because that will act as our prime meridian okay i hope you all know what is prime meridian and join the uh, the line at the ends also since you have drawn it uh, with the exact distance okay now <clears throat> distance of between the meridians what we have got is 1.4 centimeter isn't it so again take 1.4 centimeter of uh, distance like this and open up your compass measure the distance And keep it in the prime meridian then start dividing it to the east and west of the prime meridian so this side will be the west meridian and up to here you have to draw is 180 meridians and towards the uh, east you have to draw 180 meridians so as you can see i am dividing the meridian so it will come exactly till up to the line which i have drawn isn't it so in the same way you can take the same distance and divide the uh, equator again into the equal distances and of course it will also come till towards the the last line which i have drawn over there and after that the only thing which is remaining is to draw the lines which should be again parallel to the prime meridian okay so i'm little uh, fast forwarding the video yes as you can see i have finished drawing the meridians now we have to give the value to the meridians also according to the graticule interval which has been given to us that is 30 degree isn't it and the latitude also we have done 30 degree and longitude also we have to draw 30 degree so this side it will be 180 degree east and towards this side as i'm writing you can see this will be your western hemisphere and it will be again 180 degree west so altogether there are 360 longitudes or meridians and of course here i have drawn in the interval of 30 degree as 
the question states isn't it but sometimes as i said the critical interval is 30 degree but sometimes that latitude and longitude will be given differently latitude is 15 degree longitude is 30 degree so in that case what we need to do is the meridians will remain the same there will be no changes only the scale might change but in the change of latitude that is 15 degree when we have drawn the latitude do you remember yes 30 degree of interval was there in that case we need to draw the latitudes in an interval of 15 degree okay 15 degree 30 degree then 45 then 60 in that way up to 90 towards the north we have to go and towards the south we have to draw and similarly the lines the lines which we have drawn straight lines no that will also uh, increase according to the latitudes okay so with this we come to the end of the video that is the cylindrical equal area projection so do the calculations and do this uh, diagram okay i hope you have understood how to do it and uh, please like share and subscribe